Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a workgroup in Windows, especially in Windows 10. So let's get started. Um, the first thing in setting up a workgroup, um, we're going to go into uh, settings, actually into system, by clicking on the start menu then uh, type in system. Then we are going to go into or under uh, computer name, domain, and workgroup settings. Click on change settings. And then we're going to click on change. Um, and here where it says workgroup, this where we'll be uh, creating a workgroup. By default, um, all computers belong to the uh, workgroup workgroup. Um, a workgroup usually it is a small type of network. Um, when it comes to Microsoft, there are two types of uh, network. One is a domain and the other one is a workgroup. And the difference is that the workgroup is uh, meant for uh, small uh, groups of computers, between 5 and 15, maybe 20 computers. Um, also, the, uh, the administration of users and resources in a workgroup is completely decentralized in the fact that each individual user and computer is in charge of administering their own um, resources. Any directories or printers that they want to share, and they are in charge of uh, the type of uh, users that they give uh, rights or access to these, um, these directories. And so on the other hand, uh, domains, uh, it is a centralized uh, type of organization in which policies, uh, pertaining to users and groups are enforced from a domain controller that um, that have authority over uh, every single computer and user that is part of the same domain. Um, so in order to create a workgroup, um, let's say that you want to create your own workgroup, you would delete this default workgroup and let's say I'm going to create one that is office uh, group. And so you click OK. Uh, restart your computer. Now your computer uh, would show up on the network under the work group, of, under the office workgroup network, meaning that uh, any resources that you share will be available to any other computer that is also part of the same office workgroup. So I'm going to cancel out of this since I want to leave it as default uh, because if I restart the computer now it would uh, interrupt the, the recording. Um, and so that's the first step that you need to do to join or create a workgroup. And then the second step is to actually uh, share the resources. And for that, I'm going to go into the uh, file manager. And uh, let's say that I want to create, let's say, a resources on, on the my C drive. So I will create a, uh, a new directory by right clicking, then new and folder. Uh, but I believe I already have one created. Okay, here we go, which is Office Stuff. Um, actually, let's go ahead and, and do it all over again since I'm going to. I want to demonstrate how to do it. Um, so right click and create a folder, and then call it. Uh, let's say um, Chair Office Chair, and then click OK and um, now I want to add a couple of files so they can be accessed through the network. I'm going to call it, let's say, hello world. And I want to put in the text hello world. Going to let's to save the file. And so now if I want to share this office share, I want to right click on it and then I'm going to properties. And then I'm going to uh, go into sharing. And then I want to click Share. Um, next, I want to click on this drop-down menu. And I'm going to click on Everyone. Um, notice that the, only, the other user that shows up here is my username. If you want to give access to a specific user to this directory, you're going to have to create that user in your local computer. And then that user will show up here. Meaning that uh, if someone else in another computer wants to access your resources on this directory, 
they should be uh, they should know or have the username and password that you're using to uh, to give rise to access these resources. So keep that in mind. And they will be not be able to access it with the own uh, with their own username and password. That username and password needs to exist on your computer. That is the main one of the main difference between a work group and domain. Um, administration of users is completely decentralized and it is all over the place. And so I'm going to click the everyone group. I'm going to click share. And uh, notice now that uh, I have the UNC, which is the Universal Name Convention path to this share. So you want to keep this share in mind. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to click close. So now I'm ready to go into the second computer. For this, I'm going to use a virtual machine, which is also part of the same network. And then again, the first step is to join the work group. Um, so I'm going to click on uh, Start Menu, and then I'm going to go into System. And then Change Settings, Change. And here, if I use Office Group in the first group, then I, I need to rename my work group Office Group, and then click OK, restart the computer. Uh, so my computer now joins the office group domain, but I didn't change it. I don't know if you remember. The next step uh, is to access those resources over the network. So I'm going to go into the file manager, and then I believe the resources, let me see, property, sharing, it is Wintop office share. So if I do forward slash forward slash winter, which is the name of the um, of the com of my computer that has the share resources. And notice that I have the office chair here with the hello world uh, file. And that is it. That's how you um, you set up. You create and join. You create a work group. Join the work group and share resources over the network. Um, so remember that a work group is basically meant for a small group of computer and the user and res uh, administration of user and, uh, resources is decentralized, meaning that uh, it's done individually uh, at the, uh, by each user and computer. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, remember to subscribe and uh, see you in the next tutorial.